This blade here is for my buddy Steve off the FX Saber forums. Steve was actually my first friend on the FX Saber forums and when I had a lot of trouble with my hyper blades, uh, which was one of the first um, lightsaber systems I was trying to uh, install into hilts, um, I ran into trouble with my hyper blades and Steve was always there to uh, write me back uh, really nice emails uh, with a bunch of tips and um, you know answers to my questions about what was going wrong with my uh, string blades or uh, something with the sound card or how to um, do certain things with the Hyperdyne system so that was uh, many years ago maybe uh, six seven years ago now and uh, Steve just has the best lightsabers he collects the ones from the movies mostly um, so he has like I think like every single specific one from the movie um, and they're just all like the best of the best so when he came to me and asked me to build him a string blade for his new Obi-Wan saber uh, that's a huge honor he had some requests for the blade he didn't need a din plug uh, attached to the blade um, but he wanted a uh, half inch here so Steve um, I left you that half inch inside the blade wall which your uh, part for your Obi-Wan will slide I guess you will you can you know do whatever you want with these wires like uh, braid them up or um, cut them down I left you enough room here so uh, Steve wanted at least six inches so Steve there's probably like six to eight inches here on these string on these uh, wires um, use the best wires available and I color coded them for you so um, I'll say it once or twice in this video and also write you an email um, the red is number one segment now I don't know if you guys know number one segment is not here at the bottom um, that's number six okay number one is up at the top here so number one is red number two is blue number three is green number four is yellow number five is black number six is um, the Irv style wire here instead of the 30 gauge uh, number six is attached to the very end doesn't matter so this is gray Irv wire um, FOC negative is purple another Irv wire that's at the end it doesn't matter it doesn't run up the blade and the common positive is um, brown okay so I'm just going to show you the blade right here um, since since you wanted 36 inch Steve we have um, I don't know if you can see this on camera here it's exactly 36 inches and I will test it for you right now so you can see now what I'm doing is um, you can see this machine here okay I have 3.3 set on my machine right here this is going to be for your FOC string and what you want to do is um, to just to test right here I'm going to attach the positive to the common positive I have the FOC, which is the purple wire. Now you will see a flash of white. Okay, um, that's the FOC. Now the FOC can go up to uh, 3.9, so I have a 3.7 right now. So you can set your number uh, from your 7.4 um, battery pack. Um, you can let me know the specifics on the battery pack, but I'm going to say um, you could probably set uh, like 350, 400 on the uh, flash on clash drive. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to turn up my machine.
I'm going to turn on my desktop power supply to 5.9. Okay, your battery pack, um, your uh, Crystal Focus LS drive for the main blade should probably be, um, depending, depending, send me the specifics on the battery pack. Um, it's going to be something like 800, 750 to be safer. You can pump it up, 850, 875 most likely uh, with this this uh, blue range okay so this is uh, made up of a hundred and ten blue LEDs serial L class 2 the blue LEDs are uh, 3.4 volt uh, 100 milliamp um, and they are uh, 360 degree blue LEDs okay so I have a desktop power supply at uh, 5.9 um, this is under, this is not the full power here of these LEDs. I'm just, I'm just testing it for you right now. Okay, so uh, see if segment one is in camera view. Okay, segment one. Segment two. It's a really awesome uh, blue. Um, I would say it's like the Force Awakens Boyega Blue, this is what I call these LEDs. Um, so it's a really bright, uh, light blue. Um, very even on this blade. I'll try to show you a couple segments together, maybe like one through three here. Let's, let's check it. Okay, so you saw one and two. <clears throat> Here's three. Here's four. Really nice blue. Five. And six will be the last segment. you can see there okay let me try to uh, get a few segments together um, so you can see which just means I have to connect some wires together here um, okay so red is not segment number one blue is segment number two You can see them on together. Green is segment number three. I almost have it. Uh, I can barely hold it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's a beautiful. Um, segment one through three. Okay, and now let me try to do segment four, which is yellow, and segment five, which is black, and segment six, which is gray. Four. Five. And six. That's pretty cool. Really um, nice and even. It's gonna be a bit brighter when you when you use it in your saber because I just have it as a testing 5.9 right now. You're gonna give it a little more juice. All right, so it's really awesome to build Steve this blade. I think he's gonna be really happy with it, um, Steve. It's really even. And uh, I think you're going to be super uh, happy with this in your Obi-Wan Saber. Thanks for letting me build it for you. Um, that's pretty awesome. I can't believe something I made is going to be part of your collection because all your sabers are like the uh, best of the best. So uh, I really hope you enjoy this blade. Um, it's very lightweight. It's going to be uh, really nice inside your Obi-Wan. And uh, I think that the... Uh, mechanics of it came out perfect for what you're going to do 
And um, as far as uh, diffusion methods inside this, we have um, all, everything is wrapped in uh, two layers of uh, heat shrink, which is a clear heat shrink, but I, I think it helps to diffuse the uh, light, disperse the light a little bit. Then we have the Makoto foam inside there. And uh, with this new batch of Makoto foam that I recently got, um, it seems to not take well to the, um, not be able to fit inside the, uh, custom saber shop nylon diffuser tube um, but this color blue along with red and green look uh, the best in this uh, trans white um, style custom saber shop tube um, so that's what I've done here so that's actually another layer of, of diffusion the past like uh, four or five blue blades I've put in this uh, style tube it's a uh, really really nice uh, even effect um, so yeah, I won't ramble anymore. Um, Steve, this is all ready to go to you, buddy, and I can't wait to see it in your saber. Thanks.